Welcome Ken Singleton to throw out today's ceremonial first pitch in honor of his retirement to his good friend and fellow broadcaster Michael Kay. Thank you again, Kenny, for all your years of broadcasting Yankees games and best of luck in your retirement. Of course it had to come to this the way this season has gone. It had to come to the last day and Yankees have to win. Jameson Tyone making his 29th start of the year. Pretty good record 8 and 6 4.40 almost a strikeout per inning. And let's take a look at our scout report on Jameson Tyone. He's had a better second half this year but one player he's going to watch out for is Meadows. Tyone's made two starts against the Rays this year. Austin Meadows is homered in each and one of those games against him. And how far can he go today? Well, we'll see. You know, he's got that ankle, that tender ankle that he's dealing with. But uh, if he's effective, the Yankees are going to let him go as far as he can. And here is Nelson Cruz. And the pitch is hit high in the air to left center. There's Gardner. And he makes the catch. So Tyone gets through the first inning. The more innings he pitched, the fewer the bullpen has to pitch. Starting pitchers presented by Baycare. Look what Michael Walker did his last outing. So efficient, just 61 pitches. No hits, no runs, couple of base runners via the walk, six strikeouts. So Rizzo is on. And here is Aaron Judge. Ground ball sharply hit, short. Franco, one to Lau, and two to Choi. The end of one, the Rays and the Yankees are scoreless in New York. No tie to the third. Left hand hitting Joey Wendell. Strike three. One away. Looked like he had lulled Wendell to sleep and then just tied him up with this some cheese on the inner corner. And now Tampa has the first scoring opportunity in the game. They have first and third and one man out. Here is a Rosarina. A half swing. Did he go? He did. So a Rosarina is struck out. And now here is Juan DeFranco. And the pitch is hit in the air to left field gently. Gallo back to make the catch. And Tyone pitches out of trouble. Terrific pitching by Tyone. Took out Tyone to bring in the lefty. Double and a walk. Two outs and Joey Wendell who struck out looking his first time. Hit on the ground a second. Diving stop Torres from his knees. Throws to first in time. He just saved two runs. Glaber Torres. That was a hard hit ball. Headed to right field and Torres made a sliding grab. And then from his knees through to first. No runs. One hit. Two left. Now here's Rizzo who was hit by a pitch. There's a swing and a little flare in a shallow left. Meadows on the run, dives, and makes the catch. Gets back in, and the throw to first not in time. So Rizzo had a base hit taken away, and got a little nervous as Meadows went into the dive because it looked like he was going to roll over on his hand. And that's how you bust up hands and wrists. Got and yes, grab. I didn't think it was going to catch it just because it was too much ground to cover. That ball was dropping so fast. And what a terrific play by Meadows. He went... That glove down to the tips of the grass and caught it while rolling over onto his left side. Here's Nelson Cruz, two fly balls for him, one to center and one to right. Ground it and grabbed there by Odor. Does a 360 and fires a strike to Rizzo. That is not an easy hop. You know, you've heard of Sunday hops. That was not one. That was a late Saturday night hop when you're trying to navigate down the street somewhere. Chad Green will take over and deal to Austin Meadows with two outs popped up gonna be a long run oh what a play and he goes into the dugout did he hold on yes he did oh what a play now I gotta see if he's okay Ashella made the unbelievable grab and his momentum took him right down the steps into the Tampa dugout. And this guy has played with his heart on his sleeve since he's walked in the door here. And he's up, and he will walk slowly to the Yankee dugout and get a big hand from the crowd. What a play in a huge moment. The Nationals taking a 5-1 lead over the Red Sox. Jonathan Lawashika will come on with first and second and two outs to face Brandon Lau. Swung on and popped him up off third. Rugi near the stands. Rugi makes the catch. Loisega gets it done. No runs a hit. No errors and two men left on base. In a scoreless game onto the bottom of the seventh and Colin McHugh and boy what a big part of this pitching staff he has been. Well you're right and you know you've made this point many times right here. He's given up three home runs in his 63 innings. That's unbelievable but then you go back and as you have pointed out 
he gave up a home run on the first pitch he threw as a ray. Yep. Slider lifted in the air behind the mound. Who's going to get it? Here comes Choi. Here comes Wendell. Wendell says he does. And then Choi runs into him and gave him a forearm shiver. And hopefully Wendell went down on the back of the mound is okay. Dave, I saw that coming together. I'm sure you did too. The corner infielders, they were both calling for it at the same time. And then Choi reached up a little higher, and then he he didn't even get him in the head so much. Although McHugh held the made a, a, a face as if to say, "Uh oh." But uh, for Wendell, that's nothing, right? The youngest of three boys, he's been beat up. The lead run, the only run of the game, is at third with one man out. And who's the batter? Nelson Cruz. Swing and a miss, got him. Fastball, sinking fastball in with a lot on it. <laughs> Look at Peralta. Oh yeah. You the man. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, too much tension. Swung on, a fly ball to right. Judge is there and makes the catch. And the Yankees get out of the eighth inning. Gio Urshela, Brent Gardner, Gary Sanchez in the bottom of the eighth against the former Yankee Robertson. Ground ball up the middle. That's Franco coming up with it and a nice play right there to get Urshela. And that's out number one at the bottom of the eighth. Yep, trying to get that ball and squeeze it up the middle, just not able to. A nice time right there by Wander Franco on that slide. You got to let that ball get by the leg. And so you're fielding it basically behind you. And now you got to get up, make the throw, David Robertson. Yes, sir. So Wendell walks. And there is the go ahead run. Manuel Margo will come up, a right hand hitter. Swim out and miss. He got him. Let's see if the Yankees can get a run and win the game. Well, the Yankees now have the winning run at second, and they have Rizzo and they have Judd. Line drive, it's a base hit to right field. Wade rounds third, and they hold him up. Now going to second is Rizzo as the throw was wide, and the Yankees have runners on second and third and one out. Looks like they're going to pitch to Judge. It, it does. Wade's at third. Rizzo's at second. Bottom of the ninth inning. Swung on and lined up the middle. And the throw home is not in time. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win and go to the playoffs. It was a hot shot up the middle that actually tore off Kittredge's glove. Racing it in to pick it up was loud. He threw home late. Wade scores, and the Yankees win 1 0 to go to the playoffs.